Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a new playthrough here, where I'm going to be playing a bit of the new uh, Game of Thrones, uh, Crusader Kings 3 mod, I forgot what game I was playing that for a second there, where I've been, I've been really umming and ahhing about who to play, one of the main players or somebody different, and you know what, I've decided against that, I'm going to sit off to the side, not, not somebody who's Tiny, tiny. I mean, I, I did consider playing as Jorah because, because you know, Jorah Mormont would be good fun. But no, we are going to play as uh, Lord Wyman of White Harbour. Uh, and basically, we're going to play it fairly safe, at least early game. Yeah, we are the oddity here in the north. We are a follower of the Seven um, rather than the old gods. We may change that. We may not. But uh, yeah, gives us something different to do while stuff's going on. Also, guys, there's a lot of big people. I did consider playing the Dreadfort as well and just trying to take the north. But we'll see. I'm going to basically play as White Harbour. And I mean, I want to kind of dominate my local region. That's at least what I want to try and do. Anyway, without further ado then, let's get into it. So, yeah. We are a harbour man. Ooh, that's our, our, our culture. Uh, so, lots of buffs from stuff. Yeah, anyway. Here we go. So, first thing, obviously, I need to choose a lifestyle. Oh, intrigue. I'd have thought he'd have been stewardship, but, you know. Apparently, I'm a schemer. Uh, there we go. And let's have a look at my family. My A is a bargainer. My children, who are quite, quite, quite old already. Oh, 19. He does not look 19. <laughs> oh, wow. Poor, poor man. And he, he's, he, he's a fighter. Anyway, so obviously we were above our domain limit, which is something I definitely need to work on very quickly. We've got to choose an aspect of our faith. So we want to choose something which goes with what we've got. Uh, the Stranger, Natural Dread. Uh, the father gives me diplomacy. Do any of these give me... Hmm. Just trying to work out what's good. Popular opinion plus five. Uh, yeah, the father. There we go. I was my diplomacy. It actually lowers my intrigue, but we've got fairly decent intrigue anyway. I have found this, certainly in the north, everybody seems to struggle for the amount of territory they can actually hold. I'm trying to actually select the region. Yeah, but there's so many places I can construct in these things, which is lovely. My regions are big. Uh, I can center for a mesa from a citadel. Let's do that. Uh, work towards forming a hybrid culture with the Northmen. Um, we'll skip that lesson because I know that. Because I was going to say, I was going to look at that. What is the local culture? We've got Harbourman here. But Northmen is most of these guys. So, yeah. That's sad. You know... <clears throat> We'll work out what I'm going to keep and what I'm not. So, Newcastle and the Wolf's Den definitely want to be kept. It's how big these regions are and how much you can put in them is just scary. Um, first thing I'm going to do is to take a look at my wife's stats. You know, she's, yeah. I mean, it puts it up to three at least. Yay! That is terrible. Let's have a check of my succession. Primogenitor. Okay, so that's fine. Wow, my family is rubbish at uh, rubbish at managing people. Right. So some of these far away bits we'll just give away. To my second son. Um, my 
Kassen. Uh, my uncle. Another uncle. Uh, let's filter here. Filter, 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 filter. But basically, our plan for this is just to try and slowly expand what I can do. Um, uh, no, 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 no. Dynasty. Mandalay. Okay, so I can't do many more. So this one is going to go to the player. Uh, actually, let's check what's better. Werewood of the Seven. Interesting. Oh, wait. Is this... Ah, yeah. So this one. This is part of that region. There we go. That works. That works for me. Uh, my Castellian. I assume I want somebody military for that. Oversea realm. Oh yeah, negotiate vassal. Just looking at some of these ones. My Lord High Marshal obviously does the middle stuff. I've got an Admiral as well. Protect Trade. Uh, let's have him on Protect Trade. Start converting people to the Seven while we're here. Okay, so that's the start. So obviously, <clears throat> I am I am Lord Stark's uh, vassal, and he is fighting a, a, a small war. Uh, I'm 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 gonna try and get not get inv too involved. Obviously, I would like to take some of these things off the veil if I can, but you know, certainly islands and things. We have a new maester. There we go. Let's look. Can I? Is he actually on my council? That's my septum. Where is my maester? Apparently not in here. I am the spy master. Okay, <clears throat> for. For the Starks. Let's have a look what else is going on. Well, first thing first, let us push that back up as well. There we go. Obviously, being these guys, we want to be very diplomacy -y 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 -y. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to click straight through that. I can change Lord Wendell's contract. Uh, oh, that forced partition. Use hook. Bumpf. Alliance power. I could marry into the high towers. Ooh, she's beautiful. And ten. Um, and the high towers are a good family, you know. Oh, Golden Grove. I, I gotta be honest. The, the <laughs> I'm not marrying a fray. <laughs> I think that might be a bad idea. I think the high towers are make the most sense. Um, we'll go for one with the inheritable stats. Is my son already married? Ah, uh, and they have a daughter, or they already have a daughter. Okay, that's fine. There we go. <clears throat> so bringing, just bringing some alliances in. And they're technically on the other side of this wall, but you know. They are a long way away, but we're, we're, we'll be fine. To try and work out. 
I have everything here, so cities is what we really want to build. get building here. Anything which increases our, de Ooh, our development growth is where we want to focus mostly early. Except right, actually. Oh, wow. Religious rights protected. Coinage rights granted. That's good. Title of legation granted. Being a march is very good. He'd actually let me be a march? Reduces my tax. Just gives me all sorts of buffs. It's literally better in every way than being a normal thing. What's a platinate? I mean, a march. Yeah. I mean, I can balance that. Levies, 30% levies, 40%, but from that I'm getting 20% extra levies. So that actually works really well for me. Um, so I'm giving him more levies, but I'm also getting more levies. But opinion with Vassal, there we go. I am now guaranteed rights on the council, which means I can quit and force myself into whatever position I want. Uh, Tornery Day. Uh, I shall cheer on my knights. There we go. Modify Vassal contract. He is accepted. Ooh. A Leviathan. It behooves a lord to spend time at sea with salty air in his face. Face and find vessel beneath his feet. Today he sees my personal craft, a small escort. Yeah. A short voyage has been voyage has been exhilarating. We spot him a distance, a plume of water followed by a small island. Oh, get the harpoons! I I didn't catch it. Oh, let's have a look at my um options. Hold a grand tornery. Oh. Obviously, call a hunt, all the normal things, go on pilgrimage, take a vow of poverty. Okay, we're not doing that. Refuse to become a captain or commander. Uh, no. I mean, I could, but it's, it's not what we want to be doing. I, I don't really want to be involved in the war, but if my liege brings me in, my liege brings me in. Currently, my liege is winning. <clears throat> so we'll probably have King Robert Baratheon soon, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Evening Reflections. I gave him a trade poet or journaler. Let us become a poet. Uh, winter has come early. My liege, my liege, the sour-faced farmer stands before me and says, These summer snowstorms have decimated my crop. There is no chance I will ever recover. Uh, cover, especially with the harvest soon. I know, I know not what I will do if I cannot provide for my family. This season, especially with winter coming, there must be something you can do. The farmer is bold to demand relief for his farm, but the summer snowstorms have been damaging. I, I, I can get away with providing, or I could tell him he's a northerner. You are a northerner, you should know the hazard. No, no, I will provide for him. <clears throat> Ooh. Lord Melvin has sent me a gift. Thank you. Let be known far and wide, from Restoros to Essos, the lands beyond, the Mad King of Earth has perished. King's Landers Forum taking the end, ruling. Yeah, Valar Mogulis. We'll see what happens. The Iron Throne is restored. There we go. A hedge with a prophet. He's clearly deranged. Uh, tidbits from far away. Visiting a local merchant. Mer merchant? Uh, he will tell me what he knows. There we go. Oh, wow, I'm dead. Well, that was quicker than I expected. I'm, 
how did Lord Wyman? That 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 was definitely quicker than I expected. Wow. Actually, I am going to. I know this isn't the tree I want, but I, I'm I'm going to kind of have to. I'm going to push it because I don't want to have to give up all of my ha all of my stuff. Hmm. Oh, Admiral uses. Okay. Right, uh, while I'm at it, let us force my way into the council. Demand council position. Which one do I want? Steward for the extra income. Yes, I know I'm kind of pushing a tree. I'm not actually that good at, but wow. <clears throat> Am I going to manage to push it up to uh No. So the wolf's den I need to give away. Uh Here we go. Grant it to one of my, one of my, another of my relatives. Poor Lord Wyman, already, already having fallen. Where is House Peak? Oh, oh, I'm feuding with somebody all the way down there. Yeah. I think I think it might be time to actually chart start trying to just expand our, our our territory a little bit, you know. Old castle. Ah, I've lost it. Uh, why am I? Yeah, let's cancel my seduction scheme again for somebody other than my wife. There we go. Let's let's seduce my wife instead. So yeah, we, we're going to build ourselves up because we are obviously the the linchpin of the north. Unicorns on Skagos. I'd like to visit one day. <laughs> I mean, it is this world. It could could be true. I should acquire a, a rare book for her. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted because... She doesn't really give me much. Uh... You're hereby invited to the Grand Millia Old Castle. It's time to break some bones. This may go well. For glory! Let's be pious. There we go. Even though we're at a tournery. Uh... Though I stepped into a ring full of confidence, to my bitter shame, I was eliminated early. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not a fighter. Vassal factions and Lord Hunters are using his influence to push for advancements of a liberty faction. They seek to nullify several laws in High Castle. Oh, the laws. Sorry, in the White Harbor, High Castle, wrong place. While I do not doubt Holland's convictions, he is only human. If I can convince him to curb his activities, it'll make it easy for me to consolidate my power. I'll try and offer him a favour. <laughs> Lord John, Great John of the Frost Guard one. Okay.
He has renounced his faction. There we go. So who's actually going to win overall? Oh, days in your honor, my dear. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I, I think he may win. Oh, no, maybe not. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. Yes, all of Keystone will be mine. Wow. Can I go home now? Okay, this is insanely in-depth, but still. Maybe a little too much? Present my claims for the launch of a keystone to consolidate my territory. Yeah, let's do this. It may be foolish, but well, we'll see. I definitely have more men than them. No, I'm not going to pay homage. Now they ha their leader is an actual war leader. There we go. Let us march. Okay, let's go intercept them. Because we can take out their army early on. And I have a chance of catching him if he's actually in it. Yeah, we are winning, but it's not quite as clear cut. And I, I'm, I've lost my chancellor. It's always risky going to war. <laughs> I mean, you can technically uh, disallow people from getting involved, but. Let's negotiate with vassals. Uh, get more levies and... Because I don't need the stewardship. I mean, I do need the stewardship, but I can cope without it. Alright, let's go hit them again. Now, just to remember, guys, this mod is very much in beta, so things will likely change. Oh, that's expensive. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm killing off a few too many people. But as we get bigger, it's going to help. I may go on a pilgrimage after this. Snake court? Oh. Not good. Not good. A feud, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I can't be bothered with it. Yep, 
Yeah, we do have some stuff there. Okay, oh, I need a, a I need somebody managing that. They are not attacking yet. We are sieging out their capital. He is there, but I might capture somebody important here to be able to take his territory. This basically consolidates us. I'll probably look at taking Crestview as well. In fact, let's start already. Start on that. Yeah, this is, this is about securing my realm, guys, you know. Securing my taxable realm. Um, basically, push, probably push myself up, up into this area relatively early. Just to give White Harbour a nice region, of, a nice solid region of control. Not too big, but, you know, a nice solid region. Uh, within the north. Guarantee my position within the north. Hopefully not uh, without... Uh, Causing the Starks to dislike me too much. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Ah, oh, we didn't catch anybody important. But we've got the capital, so... The more we capture, the quicker this is going to be over. Technically at war with McCalen, that's kind of hilarious. McCalen is... Not as good as it should be. I'm assuming you can't cross that way. Let's go to speed 5 for a little bit. A snowy day. Perhaps I'll read a book. Oh dear, I, I didn't like the book, apparently. Oh! Kick their butts! The Beast of Newcastle! Uh, my lord marches up to me hurling at his daughter by the ear. This driven child is lying around corners wearing a wolf skin. <laughs> uh... It's hilarious. Yeah, this war is actually going on a bit too long. I mean, we're winning it, but it's actually we we've lost a lot of a lot of uh, key positions. <laughs> we've lost a lot of our 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 nobility, which is not a good thing, considering the stock is not great anyway. Uh, for them, they're all a bit meh. Then again, it, it opens the way for new ones, I guess. Sorry, just trying to uh, have a look what our options are here. I'd have preferred to be doing this one myself. Can you build ports? No. Basically, I want to make sure they've got the... Um... Development growth buildings. Because they are by far the most important ones. Oh, there's a monastery. As well. Um...
Interesting, I might have to look what the other option of one does, but not in my main region. Oh, their armies are nearly utterly gone. <laughs> Leaving just enough there to siege. While we batter him once more. In about the eighth battle for New Cut for Old Castle. Let me guess, they're going to Old Castle again. The blizzard of snow has fallen consistently since the hour of the wolf. As I see my steward enter the throne room, I know the discussion will detail the effects of the blizzard on my hold. We could offer shelter and food to those caught in the weather, but doing so would. Um, what? Why is that bad? I, I will help my people. We are not an evil lord. We will help our people. While we're expanding, we are we are not evil. I'm not playing evil, you know. Seriously, this is getting ridiculous. There we go. I thought it was going to end soon. All right. That's a worrying amount of regions he holds. Modify his contract. I want forced partition. And I will reduce his levies to low. There we go. That will weaken him as time goes on. And I will eventually be able to do it. And that has increased White Tarbar substantially. Uh, knocked on much other things, but that's a, a nice position for us to be in. I could hold a Grand Tornery, pay homage, but no, we, we are... Yeah, I am their rightful liege. I hold both duchy, both titles. I could give it to a some to, to a relative, but no, no. I mean, I may do that elsewhere. I may take somewhere else and uh, give it to one of my other sons, but I've actually given all my sons territory, so I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> um, there's so many teeny little people, um, which is, I mean, we're already one of the biggest factions within the North. Uh, so the Glovers aren't bad. Dreadfort are probably something I need to worry about, but yeah. Uh, we're going to push up to the Dreadfort, and, but we're going to be mostly going to be building ourselves up, because that's what I want to be doing. Okay, anyway guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Please let me know what you'd like to see me do, anything you'd like me, places you'd like me to go, any other factions you'd like me to do in this. I don't know how long I'll be doing this playthrough for, guys. It depends how it does on the channel, but I'm I'm loving the mod. It's just a nice different setting for it. For for uh, to be playing a CK3 in. Um and obviously I I didn't play as any of the big factions. I love this as well. These guys who are all in little independent hill clans which you physically cannot get to. 
Um, there is no entry to their territory. And the eerie up there, that is just... Oh, wow. Could you imagine trying to attack it? I mean, fortification, fortification, fortification. They're not actually that high level, though? And not when you compare them to things like King's Landing, which is... 15. What's White Harbour? Sorry, I'm being a bit cheeky looking at other people. White Harbour is only level 5. And could do with its own building up. Anyway, that is, as I mentioned, that's where we're going to leave it, guys. So thank you for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you are. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. Monster Bound, Philip Beth, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Protaru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers all.